Kevin Mao, and today we're drinking Newberg Bruin Mega Boss IPA. I know absolutely nothing about these guys. They showed up at the local package store. That's my Massachusetts coming out, the local beer store. Massachusetts, we call them package stores, packies. Um, and I grew up in Massachusetts, even though I don't live there now. But picked it up at the local packy. And I, like I said, I know nothing about it. Didn't even know there was a Newberg Bruin. They've been around since 2012. This is an IPA. Let's see if we can read the old can here. Mega Boss India Pale Ale. Mega Boss, an adjective meaning radical or awesome or super duper, which is what we think our American IPA. The skillful blending of new age hop varieties produces a beautiful floral aroma and rich flavor notes of both citrus and tropical fruits. Light in body, clean in flavor, and crisp in character. Mega Boss IPA is a beer drinker's hoppy paradise. I know it's 7% ABV and 45 IBUs by looking at their website. Do not know what hop variety they're using it. I just know that there's eight of them. And there is no data on the can, so I have no clue how to hold it is. But we're going to give it a crack, we'll give it a taste, and we will see what we have. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments, because we love talking about beer. So it pours. A light yellow. Fair amount of bubble streaming up through it. So I wouldn't, it's definitely not, a, it's filtered, it's not hazy. It's pretty clear. It's actually quite light in body. And then it's got two fingers, a bright white head, but it's big frothy bubbles on it rather than a tight small bubbles on it. And like I said, there's quite a bit of combination streaming up through this. Let's do the aroma. Smells promising. Got a little pineapple. Grapefruit. little orange yeah so very tropical I just got a hint of pine on that one dude that was the first time I got a hint of pine when I started talking and all of a sudden I'm like ooh that was pine so we got uh, again some kind of tropical floral notes in there um, more of the New England style IPA uh, well, the way that IPAs have trended. Like I said, 45 IBUs, so it should not be a hop bomb. Let's give it the taste. Light, crisp, refreshing. It's like my taste buds aren't working. It's there, and I'm not really coming up with it. So I got a little bit of pineapple. A little bit of pine, not a lot. Really nothing on the malt end of the spectrum. Finish is quite bitter, much more so, or more dankness on the back of the tongue, more bitter on the back of the tongue than I would have expected at 45 IBUs. And I'm, one of the things I found over the years of doing this is when somebody gives me an IBU number, I really don't, doesn't correlate to what I actually taste sometimes. I don't know if that's me or if people play with the IBU numbers. I mean, I've had things that like 80, 90 IBUs that I did not feel it fine as back of the throat bitter as I'm finding this one at 45. The flavors are quite subdued compared to the aroma. The aroma, I was getting quite a bit of floral. I'm having a hard time picking up much of that. This is more crisp, light, drinkable. A little bit of bitter at the back end from getting it from too sweet. Uh, but it's not really 
all the big tasting notes that you come to expect from IPAs. Now here's the thing, I have no clue how old this is, so maybe the hops have gone off, kind of dissipated with time. But it's a nice, drinkable beer. Um, I, would, I would call it more of a pale ale than an IPA. I just don't know how much of the hops has dissipated because of age. So, score-wise, I like it. It's good. I drink it again, which is a good thing because I got a four pack of it. Uh, score-wise, it's it's probably a low B, saying 82 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking. <laughs>